This is actually a harder video for me to make because I'm really trying to reflect on the past six months of my life. Six months ago, I'd never traveled outside of the US. And then Luis and his family, they tried to tell me, you know, Mike, you should come to the Philippines. I didn't know I was in the Philippines. And he said, oh, you should vlog with me. I was like, vlog? Are you serious? I was working like three jobs here and they just leave my home, my family, my friends and just go halfway across the world. <laughs> it seems kind of crazy. It's probably one of the best things I could have ever done. I got to experience a whole new culture, a whole new world, something I had never would have even thought I'd be able to experience. You know, they say Filipinos are really the nicest and happiest people on earth. I have to agree. The Filipino people just made my transition to the Philippines so easy. Very friendly, very welcoming. I can't say enough about Luis's family. I mean, they've done, they've done so much for me. I remember first arriving to the Philippines. My first instinct was, wow, this is a lot of traffic. And, you know, I really saw poverty like I've never seen before either. But along with that, the people still seem to be happy, which obviously makes you wonder. It's really not about the life that is. It isn't about material things, but more the people you get to spend life with. It's not about the physical things you acquire, but the experiences and memories you make along the way. That's why I'm so happy I decided to go on this trip. I honestly feel like the Philippines is my second home now. <laughs> I spoke about leaving my family, but I didn't mention that I gained new family when I went there. And I feel like any foreigner who takes makes the effort and spends the time to dive into the culture will end up making new family in the Philippines. Just That's just how welcoming Filipinos are. We're able to experience things from Metro Manila, BGC, all the way to the mountains of Baguio. The most amazing scenes in Palawan, Coron, Chargao. Those are my favorite places. I want to be an island boy. <laughs> It's my kind of life. The most beautiful views I've ever seen. The Philippines has really been blessed with natural beauty. And I will never forget those memories. From island hopping in those beautiful islands, it's unbelievable. Rode a horse in Baguio. <laughs> never been on a horse before. Played basketball on an island with the locals. That was really cool. It's another thing I love about the Philippines is they share the love for basketball. I tried so many different foods, some, some very exotic foods, stuff that we don't have in the U.S. or at least in Florida. I was a fan of a lot of them. I even made seasick. <laughs> That's pig ears for those of you who don't know. Got to give out Jollibee and even try to unlimited rice challenge at Manganasal. As I really look back on it, I think of the initial mindset of the fear and not knowing what's gonna happen. As a foreigner flying halfway across the world for six months, I had no idea what I was in for. It was <laughs> one of the greatest times of my life, easily. The people I met, the bonds I formed, the experiences, the places I went to, and people I shared it with. Yeah, I wouldn't trade that for the world. And that just goes to show that don't be, don't hold yourself back just because you're scared of the unknown. Just go out there and do it. Even if you're uncomfortable, change is good. I would love, absolutely love to come back and continue vlogging there as well. Let me know if you want me back. <laughs> I already miss the Philippines so much, the people there especially. So I'm gonna say it's not a goodbye Philippines, it's a see you soon. I'll be back. And I'll try to bring some of my American friends with me too. <laughs> more fun in the Philippines. But seriously guys, I cannot thank everyone enough. All my fans out there, you guys are so supportive. I would have never in my wildest dreams thought that in such a short amount of time, you guys would just welcome me with open arms. I'm so happy to meet you guys. So thankful to be able to get back a little bit. I'm still going to continue to vlog here in the States. I actually want to give uh, daily vlogs a try. Would you guys be interested in that? Two or three vlogs a week? Let me know. Maraming salamat, thank you so much. The Philippines has a special place in my heart and I will absolutely be back. More adventures with the gang. <laughs> I just wanna say thank you to all of Luis's family. I consider you guys my family now. You have no idea how much all of you mean to me. Thank you to the Lozanos, opening your home time after time. You guys are amazing. I love y'all so much. 
Tita Joey. <laughs> Half of our adventures wouldn't have been the same without you. Jeff and Krista, you guys. The impact you've made on my life too already in such a small amount of time. Rowan, my Australian friend. <laughs> I'll have to do a shoey next time, huh? Tadic, man. Obviously, like I said, Lisa's family. Jay and Jeannie. I'll see you guys soon. Mahalo, Kyle. I love you all.